Welcome to the Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. Round 3's weekend of results saw some interesting matches. Let's take a look at the action. University travelled to Sunshine Coast to take on the Stingrays and scored two tries in the first half to get out to a 12-0 lead at the break before the Stingrays staged their comeback. Sunshine Coast scored early in the second half through debutant winger Shane Parkinson and flanker Vincent Berry to level the scores at 12 all University responded, however, and scored two final tries to take the score out to 22-12 and claim their third successive bonus point win. Gold Coast Breakers travelled to Old Mac Oval to take on Sunnybank and after both teams were yet to record a win, the two sides were desperate to come out on top. Sunnybank scored within the first five minutes through winger Michael Polia after Nigel R. Wong took a quick tap deep in the Breakers' half. From there on in, the Dragons were clinical, scoring an impressive 12 tries in total to claim their first bonus point win of 2012. South travelled to Sedgwin Oval to take on West and were looking to make up for their one point loss to East in round two. West opened up the scoring, slotting an early penalty to add three points to the board. South prop Davey Fayo nearly drove over for the first try of the game before winger Moses Tula Rumor scored out wide. The Magpies suffered a blow when Fayo was red carded, reducing South to 14 men for the vast majority of the game. West crossed off the back of a driving moor through flanker Brad Cameron, followed by a try to winger Peter Nelson. But South managed to maintain pressure and score a final try through Marius Botha and grind out the win 24-23. In the Battle of the Northern Suburbs, brothers travelled to their closest neighbour Norths and were hoping to continue their winning ways, searching for their third win on the trot. Norths were dangerous through their back three, with wingers Varessa Matotini and Vern Parks as well as fullback Seth Slade all crossing over the line for tries. Flanker James Colvin was a standout for the brethren, scoring two tries in the first half to help his team get out to an early lead while fly half Dallin Murphy was once again the point of difference for Brothers slotting four conversions and two penalties. However, Brothers once again set the mark in attack, scoring six tries in total to lock in their third bonus point win in as many rounds. In the game of the round, East played host to GPS at David Wilson Field with the Cromwell Cup up for grabs. Both teams were searching for their third successive win and GPS struck first off the back of the rolling mall but the Tigers stayed in touch with the boot of Matt Brandon. Queensland Reds utility backs Aidan Tua and UJ Satini scored a try each for the Tigers, but GPS flanker Liam Ferguson sealed the game for GPS when he crossed the fourth and final try, after Sam Karevi and Chris Kuradroni combined in the midfield, producing two brilliant offloads to put the number seven over. After three rounds of competition, brothers sit on top of the ladder with 15 competition points tied with University and GPS who sit in second and third. Souths are currently in fourth spot with 11 points closely followed by Easts on nine. Round four this weekend will see brothers host Gold Coast at Crosby Park. GPS will take on West at Yoku Road. Norse will travel to Chipsy Wood Oval to tackle Souths. And Sunshine Coast will look to topple Sunnybank at Stockland Park. Round four is set to be a cracker, with the game of the round featuring University and East at St Lucia, where the students will host their annual Ladies Day. So make sure this weekend you get down to your favourite Premier Rugby Club ground and see the stars of tomorrow, today.